All right, folks, Mr. Hansen here. I want to show you guys how to create your own CO2 dragster design working from the stock parts that I've, that I've already provided you. Uh, so here I've got a blank tutorial demo design uh, file uh, already created in my student folder. Uh, to get started, I'm going to go up to this insert menu along the top uh, here. I'm going to use this insert derived tool, which will let me grab specific designs from other design files to use in my current design. Um, for example, in the foundations of engineering class, if you remember in the assets folder, uh, I created a design for you that's got all the stock parts for the CO2 dragsters. So these are the things that are available for you to work from, uh, which include you know, wheels and washers, axles, um, as well as this, this stock body. Um, so for right now, I'm just going to grab uh, this, this, this stock body right here. Oop, that's not what I want. Uh, let me actually expand this browser. Uh, navigate to the stock body component, and I want to grab that entire component. Um, I'm going to leave the wheels and stuff uh, alone for the time being and just get the, the body to show you how to work with uh, the stock body. And so that now is going to import that into my demo design file, close out the old file, and now I've got a blank stock body to work from. Just to make it a little easier to tweak, uh, I am going to hide the sketches in the stock body component so they're not interfering with my design. All right, so <clears throat> as we've talked about, uh, we want to you know, do a couple things with this stock body in order to increase its aerodynamics. We wanna reduce material to reduce the mass to decrease friction, and we wanna get rid of sharp edges and try to make this a little more streamlined. Um, as far as like the shape is concerned, uh, we're sort of experimenting with different designs to try and create something that is as aerodynamic as possible. Uh, so, for example, I may want to start with the side view of this uh, dragster. So I want to make you know, some refinements to this side view so that it's more streamlined. So what I would suggest doing is starting with a sketch. I'm going to click the side of the dragster to create a sketch directly on uh, the side. And let's add some, I don't know, curves, features to the side view. Um, we now have access to all the tools up at the sketch uh, sketching menu, so we can work with you know, arcs and lines and circles. And uh, this tool called a spline might be pretty handy. It's a tool used to create arbitrary curves. So, you know, I might do uh, something like that. And then what I can do is take uh, the top there. Let me go ahead and close out my sketch. I can use my extrude tool, change my operation in the extrude toolbar or tool menu to cut. And I'm gonna change the distance to go through all. Let me flip the direction and you'll see that cuts away material. Now, I got a slide for all. This is obviously pretty streamlined, uh, but remember we have to have a CO2 cartridge embedded in the back of this. And the cut that I made here um, is obviously going to cut into the support for that CO2 cartridge. And so I may need to edit my sketch. So down here in the timeline, let me double click sketch one uh, to take a look at the sketch. So I, I need to actually think about where that cartridge is going to be in the body of my car. So I'm going to delete that spline that I just made. Now, I still have the sketch on the side of the vehicle, but I cannot see the hole for the CO2 cartridge. Well, that can be easily remedied by you go into the create menu, going down to the project tool, the keyboard shortcut is P, of course. And that will, if I click that inside cylinder, project lines where that cylinder would be on my front sketch. So flipping back to my right side view, let me click OK on the project. I now see the, the extent of where that uh, cylinder would be. Let me add some lines in here just to complete that sketch. And so looking at that from the side view, that's where the cylinder would be. So if I want to leave that uh, CO2 cartridge right there where that cylinder is, I want to make sure that I'm just designing my refinements to take that into account. So you know, I can still use my spline tools. Let's... Maybe add some curves here to make it a little more streamlined. Let me try that again. There we go. Click 
finish sketch. Where's my body going? Oh, all right. I'm double clicking down here to reopen my extrude. It looks like it's selected everything. Let me change that to just select the you know, new profile that I created. Again, the cut should be the same. Click OK. Try that again. Cool. Accidentally hit my body. There we go. Um, now we got something a little more uh, streamlined. All right, so we're making progress and refining this design. Um, we can, you know, also make modifications from like the front or rear view, or make modifications from the bottom. Um, for example, like if I want to decrease the you know side profile here, I can do kind of the same thing. Let me create a sketch. I'm going to sketch directly on the rear of the vehicle, and then we could use our uh, sketching tools here to once again remove material. Now, like looking at it from this this rear view, I probably want to keep things symmetric, and so using something like this mirror tool would be uh, pretty useful. I'm going to need to drop a center line down my racer, then I can use my mirror tool uh, to take the spline that I just created, reflect that over the line. There we go. Uh, to create a profile for something that I can extrude. Now, you'll notice with something like this, like I can select these parts to extrude away, but you won't be able to select the stuff up here because the sketch is itself 2D and this surface here is a curved surface. So we won't be able to select that. But again, I can remedy that by hitting P on my keyboard, grabbing the project tool and projecting some lines here onto my sketch that I can use to enclose this shape. So let me finish my sketch. Once again, grab my extrude tool, select those profiles that I want to cut away, choose cut under operation. I'm going to cut through all with this particular operation, and I'm going to cut through all going along that direction. And so that again has removed material. And in fact, if I look at this from the front view, we've removed quite a bit of material from the front area of this Car. We should effectively decrease the the drag forces on my car. So we can we can continue to make refinements, you know, either from the you know bottom, the side, the top, the you know, back, in order to make this a more streamlined design. So that's the first thing we need to do in order to take that stock body and refine that into something more aerodynamic. Now this process, I mean, it's, it kind of follows like what I would actually do with the stock body in the workshop. Like I'm taking that stock body made out of balsa wood and using you know saws and drills and the milling machines to remove that material so that I have something more streamlined. So this kind of reflects the actual process we would take for refining the actual physical prototype. But let's get a design here in uh, our CAD software and then we'll look at the next step in the next video.